Hey everyone, Rob here, and I have some updates on the Grimsfeld potential eruption and more specifically the Jokulhelp. Yesterday I posted a video and we were looking at possibly, you know, we're getting close to eight meters of, of a sinkage on the ice. And I recorded that video just about 24 hours ago yesterday. And today we are now approaching 12 meters of a drop. And it's, it's almost like it's been done four meters of a drop in exactly 24 hours. It is really seeming to be accelerating. There is some good news though, and that is that all of the scientists are expecting that this is not going to be as intense as they initially had thought. Um, they're anticipating it's going to be increasing steadily over the next few days. They're saying it's going to peak on Sunday. And uh, although the, you know this seems to be accelerating, they're thinking that uh, you know based on the forecast model of maximum flow being this this massive amount, it's actually not going to be quite as much. So that's that's some good news. I mean, they're still saying that it's prob probably going to trigger an eruption because that's just what happens. You know, all this pressure is released and it it kind of goes through that way. But um, very exciting. Also, on top of this, uh, VCR released this big article today, and they had a ton of images from photographer Ragnar Axelsson, or better known as RAX, or RAX, I guess, and he flew over Grimsvot today. You can see some of his pictures here, and I kind of want to go quickly through it just uh, as I'm talking because they are quite beautiful. This guy is very established with taking pictures in Iceland, so I will definitely put a link to his bio, you can check him out. He's got a bunch of books and, and things like that you can you can purchase. As well as I'll put a link to VCR so that they uh, you can go over there and take a look at the, the photographs as well. But um, so he flew over the the area today, and you can see these amazing pictures. And you know some of the articles saying that there's signs that the ice cave has begun to recede, and you know we saw that starting to happen, or they noticed it on November 24th, and then the data started coming in. Now they're saying that structures and huts are not considered endangered, uh, in danger, but the running water will flow underneath the bridge on Highway 1. Now that's good news because this means it's not going to go over top of the bridge. If we take a look at two photographs here that we have, we can actually see the amount of change that has occurred very quickly over the over the past couple of days. So we got the first one here. And this is from the meteorological office in Iceland. They have some webcams set up and I wish I had the link to it. So uh, if someone at that office is watching, you know, let me know and see if I can put a live stream of that. But they posted these two images. So here's the first one, which was on November 28th. And they took this photo at 10.35 a.m. You can see, you know, it's just a regular sort of bit of water and things like that and this is the, the stream that's kind of slowly starting to come out and then we have the second image which was taken this morning december 1st and we can see exactly how much water increase has occurred over that small period of time now this isn't even the peak so this is we are going to be building up more and more water from this uh, in conjunction with this the police are saying, do not go to the source of the uh, you know, water flow. Don't go near where it's probably going to erupt. Don't go near the edge of the glacier. Because not only is this water flooding out of that, there is the risk of gas pollution. So you don't really want to be over here. We'll leave it to all of the scientists and researchers and the people who know how to do this safely. We'll let them sort of touch base and uh, we'll keep our distance. Now, I am on that note. <laughs> going to try depending on how the weather is and everything i'm going to see if possibly on saturday i can drive the ring road all the way down to sort of this area and stay kind of around the road area to take a look at how things are looking with this water runoff and this yoko plate now the only thing is it's like a six hour drive each way and uh, we don't get a ton of sunlight in iceland right now so yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I have a friend who who's interested in going, but uh, yeah, it'll be, you know, a 12 to 15 hour drive. And that's if the weather is perfect and the roads are perfect. There's been a lot of snow recently. Uh, as you can see in these pictures uh, from Rax as well, that, um, 
yeah, snow and ice makes the, the journey all the way down there that much longer. So, uh, yeah, that, I mean, that's, that's basically the story that we've got going on here. We can see, again, going back to these charts, we can see that the amount that the ice is falling is continuously dropping and it's dropping at a seemingly faster and faster rate. So we got within 24 hours, we did a four meter drop that was faster than the previous 20 hours to the 24 hours to that. Uh, in addition to that, we also have uh, the tremor measurements. And if you want to take a look at both of these at the same time, uh, there's a link at the end of this video, or you can check out on the channel. There's a link to the live stream and I have a live stream going of both of these graphs so you can watch and see how it's going. The interesting about the tremor chart, as you can see here, is all of the colors are now starting to separate. And uh, I've been told and I've seen some evidence that it's reminiscent of the previous eruptions that have occurred and the tremor charts for that. So we're going to see exactly what goes on. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to find out sooner rather than later. As I said, they think the water level is going to peak and the Jokerhoep is going to peak this this weekend uh, that's their best guess of course with mother nature there is no guarantees but we will see what happens if it's going to peak this weekend then i guess the eruption could happen um yeah shortly after that if it happens at all you know maybe we'll get a christmas eruption who knows anyway that's 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 it for today i wanted to share all this and uh, if you like it you know hit the thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already because you know, why not? doesn't hurt. And then, uh, yeah, I'll post more updates as they come in, probably tomorrow, because this is a ever-changing situation here in Iceland. If it does erupt, I know I'm going to have to be ready to make sure my car is not breaking because of all the ash that even comes to Reykjavik. Uh, all my friends here say that's a, a big concern. So we will see. So until next time, thank you so much for watching.